Yeah, recording. So I start recording. The problem with this computer is that I cannot uh, use it unless the the installer is installed in, interference in the sound card. If somebody interfered in my sound card and other software uh, a while ago, I cannot even move the screen anywhere or it all the screen breaks and I in, I don't see anything. So I'm recording on the fly if it's possible. And this is uh, I hope a short uh, description of the procedure of the connection between aging and time concept. Okay. Let's see if I can move the camera a little bit over here and without breaking anything here. Changing my Let's see here. So let's see if I can move this. Yeah. The idea is that once the child has been introduced uh, to concepts of uh, whatever, uh, that frame things, non-existing things, what they do in education is they fill your mind with concepts. They don't describe anything other than forming your mind to follow certain instructions. The instructions are being given with the sound of the voice, with the words that you write and read. Therefore, many messages that are encrypted into a machine that will talk like a machine are suspicious of having this installed in it because a human voice will be uh, revealing much more about the content, the message, than the machine. The machine will not reveal anything other than convey the orders that are being given to you. So, about time, time. I can take the most uh, extreme case of uh, time management from the Jewish uh, culture, Jewish religion, where they took uh, every possible aspect of life and put it into a time frame where you need to uh, achieve within uh, a certain time projection, certain achievements you have to come to a point where you have achieved this or this or this. So you are, say, you have to pray when you wake up in the morning, early in the morning when the sun rises, you have Pray, and when the sun sets, you have to pray again. When you will have to pray every day, and you know, say every day, and learn every day the same thing that you learn every year in the same day. You will be living uh, uh, in a month, a month that is uh, that in Hebrew it's called uh, the new. The new is repeating every. 28 days and every year you have a new, same new month. Uh, if you have uh, weeks, the weeks are, um, I call it when you uh, swear. I swear do this. Yes, a Sabado. Saturday is where you swear to, to cease from work. So you have God said by this instruction that he Stop to, to do the greatest uh, magnificent world in uh, seven days he had to rest, so, so do you. So there is some funny reasoning behind this uh, instructions that all these uh, instructions are meant to allow you to put you into a sequence of following times that is repeating, that is unfolding again, unfolding, refolding, defolding, multiple folding. So you see a uh, folding occurring 
through your life until when it's ending, because life is ending under a certain uh, number of uh, holding of days, of minutes, of weeks, and certain months and years. Uh, the year in Hebrew is where you repeat the same thing. It's the meaning of the word year. Uh, the month is the new. The week is square. Uh, I just can say that in the previous uh, culture where Hebrew came from, before they started to uh, grammatic, grammatically control the language and put it into order, uh, the word yom, which is a day, means uh, the, out, the, the time of the light when you have a sun in the sky. And now they already call it it's the number of hours it we have uh, from when sun rose till it goes and so on. So all it, yom is a day is a, is a measure of time. It's not anymore what it used to be. So everything was framed into time. Now you have this frame of time. And now you're going to school. And in the school you will have to learn so many meaning, meaningless things. Uh, or again and again every year you will have to go through tests. And you have to stand in a test. You have to be uh, eligible to uh, you know, com contribute and play part in society. Because if you didn't know all the things that you, you taught in school, you're not, you know, you're not uh, part of this society. So this is society, society, society pressure for people to participate in this game, conscious game, conceptual game. They, they must if they want to play part in it. So now you have uh, a person that is, uh, oops, my mouse is here. Uh, okay, you have a person that is uh, capable of multiplying your months and calculating uh, years and how many, how many years it's going to live. Now you have something that you want to do in this life, but you have this limited uh, con you know, consciousness time frame that you, you will have to achieve all these things in, in a matter of so much time, so much repeating of the same pattern, and you have... Uh, enforce this pattern upon every moment, upon every day. Now in this day or in this period, on this year, you have to achieve this. And this year, in this period, you have to achieve that. How much can you achieve during your life? Soon, sooner or later, you have to diminish the, the number of projects that you could have done if you didn't have all that. So now you have only maybe one project that is going to be terminated or will be terminated. Now your life is over because you don't know what to do without a continuation of the plan. According, you know, within, within new time uh, uh, schedule, you will have to have a new plan within time if you want to believe there is some continuation. So you have some older people who have managed to create when they were their project ended or they managed to continue a, a project that was so vast, like, uh, I don't remember his name, uh, the Venus, Venus project, you know, this guy was doing this. Anyway, so the thing is that when you, as a child, you are having a projection where you see so much that you can do within a certain time frame upon a certain land that you have, uh, as you go to get older, you, you think that the time is cutting short every time. So every time you do something, you have less time to invest, less, less yourself to invest in this. Uh, and the more you progress along, along this timeline, this schedule, the, 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 the shorter and shorter the span is allowed to you by, by yourself. You 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 agree that this is terminate ter, terminal uh, uh, lifespan, and you will have to you know fold. Uh, I call it fold. You take a big plan, and now you fold it. Now you older. You fold it. It become half the size, and then you get older. You fold it again. It become quarter of the original size. And as you go further, you have a right to some achievement. Hopefully, 
but uh, the time spent for every you know parcel being in the parcel it'll be shorter and shorter and shorter and shorter and shorter so when you get older what happens the central time the shorten central time if it was when you were young you said oh i had a lot of time so your projection you visual projection about this experience which you're going to have is uh, pretty spread but when you're growing older the spreading becomes smaller to you are actually your minute your minute to minute existence is understood within this <clears throat> scheduling where this meaning is getting shorter and shorter and shorter it's not many minute in the sense of the clock think it but it's in a, in a sense that is shortened and if you take it to to a smaller size of measuring which the mind does, the mind does the smallest size of measurement that it could, it could is the quantum uh, reality, you project in this quantum reality, a very squeezed, very small, minute uh, projecting drone on a very small piece of time that is still allowed for you. So you have very small, very condensed, very demanding, very pressured uh, sequences of a now moment, of a now present moment, capsulated, captured in the concept that you have, you know, agreed to follow. So the now moment is not understood anymore uh, to, in a way that would release you, rather it is under, understood as, a, as, a, as an opportunity to pressure yourself even further because every moment is so precious and you don't have so much time anymore. So, I, I would go further with it, you know, to be, be more extreme, extreme if I could. Yesterday I was talking to my son and I was you know, expressing it in a much more extreme way. I was just putting it out uh, to make the full emotional impact of this uh, mind uh, uh, procedures and how to undo it, how to undo it, how, how to undo this time sequence uh, projection Starting from not from within, uh, also from uh, within a greater project that is inconsiderate of time, but also starting from the minute, uh, very small minute. And how can you affect a cellular uh, part of the body? How can you, you know, influence or get involved and in influence the behavior of a cell that has been taught? to be alive in a such uh, horrendous stressful procedure. How can you heal a cell uh, from behaving in this overall concept of time that they uh, imposed, on, imposed on people? So that the, the, you, can, you, can, you can take it first by holding it to a greater picture which is unbounded or in every direction, I and mean, this can, in this words, being described in much more expensive way, you know, in where could you go, and where pro projects, and where you like dreams can go, uh, if they were not uh, diminished and bent, and you know, into this uh, time machine uh, conceptual, conceptual time machine. That's one thing, but but when you take the the the, the, the minute cell in you know the minimum the, the the quantum level the nano level what how could you intervene in the nano level function of your cellular body to release it? So I say every way that you can intervene in the behavior of the cell is effective will release it from the schedule. You know 
every new idea that comes and penetrates into the behavior of the self from a conscious state to another conscious state of mind, if you uh, you notice that it is effective, you will feel it, you will feel it that your body cells, your body organ can be rejuvenated, can be healed, can be free uh, of this uh, concept, con machine concept. But then also if you take uh, minute or extracts of some natural herb that is noticeable and you uh, inject it or inhale it or smell it, or swallow it, or you allow it uh, in any way by, say, uh, uh, viewing a certain color or listening to certain music with certain intent in it. Because intent is in this level of in intent is the level of uh, quantum, the quantum level. So if you allow uh, in, inviting to yourself, uh, say, a coffee, you will drink a uh, coffee thinking that this coffee, this minute um, uh, nano particle that is in coffee or that is affecting you, is affecting your cellular level. You know, they don't allow you to drink coffee, they say it enters. But if you take, for example, guns, guns, if you know guns, G-A-N-S, Check for it, guns, plasma technology, and you produce guns. If you produce uh, ash, water, you look up plasma technology, healing plasma devices, you'll find these small elements that will help you connect and intervene in a cellular level. And by only by intervening in the cellular level activity, you have stopped the following of the time plan to where the unlimited universe, unlimited life, unlimited project, the meaning of the project, why you're doing this, why you are here at all, all this is coming back to you. So that's what I'm suggesting to do. If you want to, uh, that's my idea. If you wanted to release of time, this is for Earth things. Thank you for watching me. I'm your son. Hope you enjoyed it and found it useful and helpful in some way. Adios, ciao.